Howdy, this is Tubal Cain again, and this is episode number 37B, the answer to my What Is It series, Mystery Tools. And a few weeks ago, I presented three different items here, so let's go through them and see if we can figure out what they are. And I had some great answers, some funny answers, some absurd answers. And on some of these items, I tell you, I don't know, and neither do the people that send them to me, and these were sent to me again by Matt Parker down in Sparta, Illinois. He said he got these at an auction, and it was an auction of a tool and die shop, and that another man there, I don't know if he was the owner or a guy standing around, said that these were used for die fasteners. Now, I don't even know what die fasteners are, but I assume that he means on two-piece punch press type dies, so it's, it's something evidently to, uh, to take these dies apart. And again, they had numbers there. Thank you, Matt. I, I hope that is the answer. They, they look like they could be homemade, but they are very well made. So perhaps there never will be an answer. And for the next item, which was the green post hole digger, if you remember, I have to go outside, but fortunately I shot this footage a month ago when it was still semi warm out today there's uh, three inches of snow on the ground and it's ten below so I'm I guess I had some foresight to do that but this item is a crucible tongs or crucible lifter that will take the hot crucible with molten metal uh, out of the uh, crucible furnace and in this case it's a McEnglevin brand speedy melt and I had one similar to this at the high school. This is for a number 16 crucible. That means a graphite crucible that would hold 16 pounds of aluminum. I had one at the school that looked just like that, only it was larger, and it had bent handles on it, and it was meant for two men, or two boys, to lift the crucible out of a McEnglevin number 30 furnace. And uh, that was a number 30 uh, size crucible also which was a lot bigger, really, than what I needed in the school. So enough talking about it. Let's go out and we'll take a look at it. It is not a post hole digger, but that, of course, is what the <laughs> auctioneer called it because, you know, they're grasping at straws sometimes. So let's take a look. And now the answer to this mystery tool, and I had some good guesses on it, but I don't believe anybody got the actual answer, the correct answer. It's made of steel. It's quite heavy and it is used by a foundryman to lift the crucible out of a crucible style furnace and of course I'm using a coffee can here instead of a graphite crucible. And it's made by McEnglevin Speedy Melt. Possibly the name is even on there. Oh, they call it, yeah, Safety Tong and Shank. McEnglevin, Danville, Illinois. Fred Cowles, I knew the man. And last but not least is this item loaned to me by my friend Frank, who lives right here in town. And he got it from his uh, brother-in-law, I believe it was. And it came with a lathe. He bought a really neat jeweler's lathe, and I thought I took pictures of it to, to show it to you, but I either didn't take them or I forgot. But uh, this really had nothing to do with the jeweler's lathe, but I think it had to do with the, with the manufacturing company where he acquired these items. And it was down in, I believe, Tennessee, or maybe it was Kentucky. And really the only answer for this is that it is uh, a, a, a piece of a manufacturing uh, uh, item, uh, a, a machine that manufactures something, I don't know what. Someone pointed out this wasn't a protractor, that is a height adjustment that could raise and lower this. It almost looks like a tailstock. Now, that might be why it ended up in that auction uh, or batch lot or whatever it was uh, with a lathe. Now look at these little fasteners at the bottom almost as if they went into a T-slot or a, a lathe bed. Someone also pointed out that this is a belt pulley. 
and should spin but at this time it is stuck it does not move I'm not going to force it this is not mine but it's just so uh, ultra precision it looks like it would have been made in Switzerland or someplace like that but uh, it's probably just a very specialized item used in the manufacture when we used to make things in this country and of course it was declared surplus the end might be broken, might be a little piece broken off, but it looks like it could be something in the textile industry. But that's just a guess. And you saw me playing with this in the last video. There's a knob missing there. So thanks to Frank for loaning this to me. I'll get it back to him. And it's just an interesting item. I doubt we'll ever know the real answer, but it's really important that you look through all of the comments in these videos and remember that's number 37 B which means that I made uh, how many of these uh, you know 70 some including the questions and answers so look through the playlist and look at some of those others you might have a laugh you might have some enjoyment and if you're anything like me you watch uh, YouTube videos instead of the horrible broadcast uh, television and uh, this is Tubal Cain saying, I'll see you in my next video. Thanks for watching. And thanks to my three sponsors, Banggood.com, KBC Tools, and Edge Technology.